Hello and welcome everyone to another InventRight.com TV show. Check out our website, go to InventRight.com, click on Coaching to learn more about how we've been coaching and mentoring inventors for 15 years. Stephen, on that topic, we've had students in over 40 countries. And a lot of people in other countries have concerns about being able to do this from where they live. And I have to say that there is no difference between somebody in Australia or in Mexico or in the UK or in Canada or in California in the United States. It makes no difference. You can do this from anywhere, really. Now, now why? Well, one of the reasons why people don't think they can do it, they, they feel like they're limited to their own geography. The U.S. is a very large place. Steve and I always joke, it's a very large place. We sell a lot of product. A lot of the U.S. companies and European and Canadian companies sell into other countries as well. They don't just sell in the U.S. And Americans buy a lot of stuff. We buy way too much stuff. And we, and we work our butts off to pay for it. So it's look, a great place to be licensing. Look at, all, look at all the stuff. Yeah, we buy way too much stuff. So I'll say that about Americans. But um, anyway, so... If you're in Africa, are you going to license to African companies? No, you aren't. You're going to license to American companies, European, Canadian companies that are selling in those countries and elsewhere. Okay, So you don't limit yourself to your local geography. Now, it's, it's, so you, you, not being limited to your local geography can mean you could be, we have, Stephen, we have one student of French Polynesian Island. A population of 2,000. We just had a student, Damien. He lives in the Yukon. He's a French Canadian, but he lives on the, the west coast of, of Canada. In the Yukon, population 30,000, middle of nowhere. Beautiful, beautiful place. With like, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're telling me that I don't have to fly out and dance on the tabletop no. and make some presentation. I got two minutes. I've always, I've always been told I got to have the pitch. No, no, you're you don't. Me I don't have to do you that. don't because. When you're in the U.S. or anywhere else, it's all the same. You're going to send a sell sheet or send a video that's okay. going to help them understand your product probably in about 6 to 10 seconds. You don't okay. want to try to pitch over the phone. So if English isn't your first language or you feel like you need to pitch over the phone, you absolutely don't. And you don't need to fly out and meet them in person. It's a complete and utter waste of time. We have students in the U.S. that live within 100 miles of the company, and we say don't go so out. Because negotiations are three weeks to three months of back and forth okay. email phone. Okay. If you go out, you'll get very, very little done. And they're not buying you, they're buying the benefits of your product. So you do not need to go out and meet with these companies in person. So, so you're telling me I don't have to be a salesperson. You don't need to I, meet them in person. I, I, no. I love that. You know why I like that so much, you guys? Andrew's right. Your, your sell sheet that you're going to send to them is the best tool. That's the only tool you'll need. And it, what's really great about a great sell sheet, and we teach this this whole process about great tell, sell sheets, is because when you leave, or when you when you drop it off, or when you send it in the mail, or electronically send it, they can pass it around in meetings. Andrew, mm -hmm. it sells for you regardless of your if you're there, you're not there, but it sells for you 24/7, always. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now I've got another question for you. Well, uh, so so you're telling me yeah. that. I don't. Ha I can live anywhere, which I love. You're telling me I can live in another, uh, another time zone. I mean, you're telling me how, how do I how do I do this if I live over in Russia or wherever? Well, I mean, a lot a lot of websites, a lot of companies you can submit through their website, or you can um, email them. And if you're okay. calling, you can figure out the time zone difference. There's always going to be a time in your day where you could call these companies because that's not a big part of licensing. It's very important to call companies, but it's not like you're going to be spending massive amounts of time calling. Any, I've never had a student in 15 years, Stephen, that couldn't work it out. You know what's amazing? You guys, the world that we live in now, no one likes to talk. All they, all they want is emails now. Yeah. So I, I, think, it's, I think Andrew's absolutely right. Yeah. So Andrew, but yeah. how do we do this when I'm in another country? Yeah. And how do I protect myself? Well, a lot of people are concerned about that. They say, well, you know, I'm in this country or that country and there's no provisional patent here. And I say, that's not an issue. Anybody, okay. anywhere in the world has the same rights as a U.S. citizen. You can file a U.S. provisional patent application, which will let you say patent pending for a year. It's only okay. $65. If you ever looked at a patent, it's like, what am I looking at? It's some foreign language. But you can write a provisional in common English. And there's no difference between you and somebody in California. You have all the same rights. 
So, and you know, okay. on top of that, Stephen, which you mentioned before, is you can file a provisional patent, and it can give, preserve your foreign filing rights in any patent cooperation treaty country, and most of you live in those countries. You can later file a PCT, which later, so in a roundabout way, a provisional patent lets you file internationally in your country later, or the company, if they want to. Now, what I like what Andrew just said, even if your country doesn't have a provisional patent application, which a lot of them don't, yeah. you can still play the biggest game in the world by filing in the United States. Yes. And okay. most of the time, Stephen, the company is going to sell the product in the U.S. and Canada and maybe some in Europe, and they don't even want to file international patents. But they'll okay. pay you royalties in those other Correct. countries. So, Correct. It's, so basically, well, you don't need to fly out. You're not limited by that. You're not limited to licensing into companies in your local geography at all. You should always be thinking U.S., Canada, Europe, okay? And you're not limited from intellectual property standpoint, from your so, patent standpoint either. We've just removed all those roadblocks, Stephen, that everybody in other countries thinks is, is, are roadblocks for them. Did I miss so anything? You're so you're telling me I can live in a town of 10 people. Yes. I can live anywhere in the world of a town of 10 people. Yeah. I can create good marketing material, and that's going to be my sales tool, so I don't have to fly anywhere. Right. And you're telling me that I can protect it here in the United States for as little as $65. So basically, for $100, mm -hmm. I can play the yep. biggest game in the world? Yes, absolutely. And, and on top of that, English doesn't have to be your first language. Do you, need to, do you need to have some English skills? Yeah, but you don't need to be okay. slick on the phone. If you can just simply call and ask permission to send your sell sheet or your video that's going to do the selling for you, that's fine. It's very repetitive, a few short okay. sentences. You should be fine. You can't have no understanding of English. You need that. If not, you need somebody else to make your calls. So but, what are you waiting for? Everybody that's watching this, oh, I love that. What are you waiting for? I love that. What are you guys waiting for? Oh, you're so shameless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. All right. So, so if, you, if you guys like the show, if well, if you're anywhere in the world, the main thing we want to accomplish with this show is you can do this from anywhere. If we didn't right. get that point across, Stephen, I think we did. Andrew, I think you just you just pounded we it. We pounded it. it in. You did too, man. So yeah, if you like the right. show, down below, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Check out inventright.com. Click on coaching. Learn more about how we coach and mentor inventors. Take care. Keep inventing, and we'll catch up with you next time. See you. Bye. -bye.